Hey everybody. Today we're talking about binning quantitative variables in R to get categorical ones. I'm going to be in particular trying to bin the age variable in the Titanic data set. The Titanic data set is super famous. It's available in many forms online. Um, there's even a built-in Titanic set. The version I'm using, um, I'll upload to my GitHub page. I'll put a link to that down below if you want to follow along exactly. Here, age is mostly an integer, although you'll see you have some decimals for kids under the age of one. This is an 11th, 11 month old. It's 11 twelfths. So when you have a decimal, that's what it's representing. It's for where we have the number of months. Um, my main goal here, honestly, is going to be to recreate this plot. I'm going to take my age variable. I'm going to bin it up into some bins of equal width, and then I'm going to get the survivorship rates for the different age categories. So for instance, here I can see about a third, about 33% of my 70 to 80 year olds on this ship survived. Since I've got summary statistics, survival rates on the y-axis, I'm also going to want to give the counts, the basically the how big these bins are in terms of the number of passengers in each bin. And I'm going to represent that with a size aesthetic. So I'll talk about that later on. But again, my main task here is going to be binning that um, age variable. So the main tools that I'm going to use are cut number and cut interval. And these um, have the same help file that I've pulled up with cut number. They live in the ggplot2 package, which uh, loads up with tidyverse. I've already done that. The more base function that you'll sometimes see used is cut. I'm not going to use that. I generally don't have any need for it. This is more general and flexible. But um, you don't generally need it. Like We'll see the two main use cases that people generally have for cut are cut number and cut interval. And so I just usually, well, cut out the cut function. So let's get started with cut number. And uh, cut number takes a quantitative vector. So in this case, it's going to be Titanic dollar age and splits it into a certain number of bins. So let's do eight bins. And as you can see, it's going to make n groups with approximately equal numbers of observations. So to start, I'll just print this out. It's going to be ugly because it's got 1,300 observations. So um, for each row, for each age that it finds in this vector, it's giving me back an interval. And so what you're seeing here is interval notation. And this means that the age is between 21 and 24. The round parenthesis on the left means that 21 is not included in this category. The hard bracket on the right means that 24 is included. So this person could have been 22, 23, or 24 year olds, 24 years old. A 21 year old would have appeared with something like this. Notice that the bins are not all of equal width. We can see that a little more clearly if we pipe this thing into the table command and actually get out the, um, the list of all the categories and their counts. So for instance, this category from 16 to 21 has um, a difference between the endpoints of five. This next one has a difference between the endpoints of three. So R has allowed the intervals to be of different width. It's trying to make these counts all as close as possible. Now, in this case, they won't be the same because of course there's a lot of 21 year olds, um, a lot of 24 year olds. And so without splitting up the 21 year olds or splitting up the 24 year olds, R can't get the counts to be exactly the same, hence the word approximate. Okay, notice that all these NAs are not taken into account in the table command. The NAs are kind of a pain in the butt here. We have a bunch of them. Let's, let's go ahead and drop those. Um, let's take Titanic and overwrite it. So I'll pipe Titanic into the drop NA command and I'll drop all the rows for which age is missing. And let's take another look at this. Now we only have a little more than a thousand entries. So we've thrown away more than 250 of these passengers. That's a pretty big percentage. I'm not in love with doing this. I'm doing it just for the sake of the cut video that I'm making right now. But it, there's almost certainly differences in the passengers for which we have age information and ones that we don't. Um, and so if we're doing any real analysis on this data set, in particular on survivorship, we'd want to take that into account in a very strong way. I'm just talking about cut here, so I'm going to be glossing over that fact a little bit. What I want to do now is to actually put a column on here for that um, for this bin. So let's do that. 
Let's uh, take Titanic and um, pass it um, and write over it rather. And let's use a mutate command to add a new column. And I'm going to call it age bind. And the way I'm going to do it is basically with this cut number command. I'll just pass that in there. And since it's inside a mutate command, I don't need to specify the name of the data set. Let's take a look at this. OK, there's my age bind. So for instance, uh, Miss Elizabeth Walton Allen, age 29, falls into the age category from 28 to 32. Again, that category excludes 28, but includes 32. Okay, now that's wonderful, but for this plot, I wanted my bins to be of equal width. That's part of my point. I want the bins to be of equal width so that I can also see the counts for each of them. Going back to my help file, cut number was doing n groups with equal observations. The one I'm looking for now is cut interval, it makes n groups with equal range. So let's replace cut number with cut interval. And I'll get my spacing right here and then I'll view Titanic again. You know what, actually, what I wanna do um, is I'm gonna do a count command. I can see the bins here, but let's actually see the counts. So let's do count for Titanic, and uh, let's count age bin. And this way we can see all the different categories here. So we've binned it, so now we have a factor variable, and we can see the different counts. So for instance, there are six individuals that were between 70 and 80. Judging from this plot, I'm going to say that two of them must have survived. OK, so again, these intervals are all of equal width. There's some rounding here. You can see that at one point we lost 0.1. That's just due to rounding. Um, in this case, the counts in each interval are very different. So that sets it apart from the cut number command. OK, great. So in order to get this plot, I am going to need age bind, which I've already got. I'm going to need survival rate. So I need to compute that. And then I'm going to need counts. So I'm going to want to do a group by and summarize here. So how about we call this Titanic summary? And um, I'm going to take Titanic. I'm going to do a group by. And I'm going to group it by this new thing that I made, made, age bind. And then I'll do a summarize. I want, hmm, what do I want to call this? How about um, survival rate? And it'll be the mean of survived. And I don't think there are NAs left in there. I think when I dropped all my NAs, I dropped a uh, I dropped any of the NAs there as well. And uh, let's also keep a column called count n. <laughs> and summarize has an E on the end. And I'll align my columns properly. And let's just take a look at this. OK, so there are my age categories. In each category, I've got my survival rate, and then I've got my count. Now I'm ready for my ggplot. All right, so Titanic summary. On my x-axis, I want age bind. On my y-axis, I want survival rate. And I want a size aesthetic for count. I'll do a geom point. See how that looks. Hey, look at that, would you? All right, so the difference between this and the thing I showed you at the beginning is um, just aesthetic in the sense that I had a title before, I have labs, labels. I don't think I'll mess with any of that right now. Quick comment before, we, uh, before I wrap up this vid. Your interpretation of this plot can vary quite a bit depending on um, sort of what parts of it you look at. If you just take it on face value and squint, you could convince yourself that there's a downward trend, that as people get older, they tend to have lower survival rates, right? You start really big for these little kids, you end up pretty small down here. 
However, if you put your hand over the points at the right and the left, so the very young and the very old, you might actually see a slightly different trend. So as people tend to get older in this range, the survival rates tend to get higher. So the really little kids, I guess, got put on those lifeboats um, at a much higher rate. We've got uh, almost 60% of them surviving. Um, and some of the very, very, very old as well, maybe at a slightly higher rate than we might have expected. But here in the middle, there's a different trend. So if anything, from this plot, I might caution against just randomly throwing down a regression line or a single line of best fit. I think the different categories here are actually kind of worth considering in more of a discrete way. So the binning of this quantitative variable actually gives you more information, despite the fact that at first glance, you might be seeing me to throw away information when you move from quantitative to qualitative.